IEBC lawyer Mahat Somani has discredited Supreme Court petitions describing their calculations as an old litigation approach in numbers for shock and amazement. Mahat, who is representing the IEBC, sifted through the figures and combed through voter turnout and suppression and anomalies stated in various affidavits Overall, results indicated in various forms and the efficiency and processes while using the Kim's kit. The, question, the first question that I'll answer today uh, relates to the question that has been put to us. And the first one is whether the postponement of gubernatorial elections in Kakamega and Mombasa counties, parliamentary elections in Kitui Rural, Kachaliba, Rongai and Pokot South constituencies, and electoral wards in Nyaki West in North Imenti, and Kwanjenga in Mbakasi resulted in, so in voter suppression. Mahat, who was using a PowerPoint presentation, displayed data comparing locations where elections had been postponed with neighboring stations. According to his IEBC's findings, the postponement of election had no effect on voter turnout. The allegation uh, of voter suppression due to postponement of, the, of these uh, elections is not a question of hypothesis. It's a question of fact. It's a question of numbers. The voter turnout for Kitui Rural is 60.29%. I have highlighted in yellow uh, in your screens. It is comparatively similar to the voter turnout in, uh, in Kitui Central. In fact, it is, uh, Kitui Rural is higher to the allegation that the postponed elections in Kakamega led to voter suppression in, in terms of uh, the petitioners' votes being undercast. The allegation falls flat on the comparative data. We have provided the data for Vihiga, which is similar. Bungoma was a bit higher, but Vihiga is, is the same. So comparatively, when you look at those data points, that allegation falls flat. To the allegation that uh, in Mombasa, the, there was a voter suppression because of the election that was won, I want to point out, even in 2017, the general voter turnout in Mombasa is generally very low. That data is available. It's always lower than the other constituencies. Responding to claims that forms transmitted as JPEG were edited and uploaded on the Commission's public portal as PDF document after being doctored, lawyer Mahat Somani said the argument by the lead petitioner Raila Odinga was misleading. That's a validation check. Can you confirm that this form is signed by a PO? He says yes. Can you confirm that this form is signed by a DRO, a, de a, a deputy PO? He says yes. Can you confirm this form is a 34A? He says yes. Can you confirm this form has been signed by the agent? He says yes. So after saying all that, then he tells him, take, a, take an image. And, and there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of things being banded here about, about the image. It has a scanner and the image that is embedded in the KIMS. So it's taking the image and it's taking the image and scanning it as a PDF. So he takes his image and he presses send. That image travels from that, it is gone. He cannot recall. In fact, even if he doesn't ne ha does not have network, it will tell him the image has been sent. It will arrive when it will arrive. That image cannot be recalled in PDF. There's nothing that can be called. That scanned image in PDF. There's nothing that can be done about it. The lawyer also refuted assertions that hackers uploaded amended forms to the IBC portal, claiming that the commission would have received a report detailing who was responsible and the date. He said that there was no indication that more than 11,000 forms were uploaded in eight minutes because each form contains a millisecond timestamp. So there's another argument that they say, oh, our clients, uh, they are, the petitioner votes were deducted and added to this. We told them, show us the proof. How are they deducted? We have seven proofs. So in, in mathematics, you use proofs to prove a point to prove knowns and unknown. We have seven proofs. We have our arrows at the, at the polling station. They had agents. You had agents at the CTC. We have the original. You have agents at the NTC. We have original. We have what is transmitted in the portal. We have original. All of them tally, and you are saying your client's votes were deducted. How? And for that question, your ladyship, the late Justice Antonin Scalia, whenever he went to give lectures, uh, to all over the United States, everyone used to ask him about Bush v. Go, and he will, he, will, he will know whether someone is a Republican or a Democrat as to the question they will ask, and his answer will be, get over it, it's over. 
So to 50 plus 1, the court made its determination in 2013 on the vote cast and valid votes and the rejected ballot, rejected and not vote. Vote is an authentication of preference. There's nothing called rejected vote. That's a rejected ballot. The court emphatically made that decision in 2013 and in 2017. To the petitioner's answer as to that, I think the simple answer will be get over it. Mahat asked the petitioner's lawyers to explain how Raila Odinga votes were deducted and added to William Ruto at different polling stations despite their agents going through all the forms on the IEBC portal and those filed by various returning officers and agreeing on their results at the Tallink Centre. The seven judge bench is sent to issue a verdict on Monday. Kaino Stefano, Ehebro TV.